LA to San Francisco and stayed in a hotel called Spindrift Inn. My daughter said, what a great name. And I said, what a great name for a band. Well, Andrew rang me up and asked me if I would want to be a part of it. And so I said, yeah, it sounds like good fun. A song of both sand and tone Where in dreams I live And with he called me up and he said, what do you think about this idea of this band? You know, this Western swing band. And I thought, Fantastic. I mean, I love Western Swing. Enchantment strange as the blue up above. That newly pass that only he would know. Still hears my broken song of love. I think I might have been in Tamworth at the time. And he said, mate, I've got this idea. What do you think? And I'm like, that'll be a great band. And then he said, yeah, and I want you to come and sing. I'm like, are you kidding? And you know, I just literally then it was, how, how logistically is it going to happen and is everyone going to be available? And he made it happen, here we are. And it's just a dream for a singer to get to sing with that amazing amount of talent at once. It's just, it's very special. pass that only he would know Still hears my broken song of love I love all types of music, so it was a great opportunity to play with some great old friends, actually. We had this idea about doing a you know, Western Swing, big Western Swing band. And uh, I saw the people that were going to be involved, and I, I thought, yeah, this is going to be a really good band. So I said yes. When he just told me who was in it, I said, yeah, I love playing with those people. It's, you know, I've played with them over the years, and different sort of things. It's always been fun. Yeah, it's always a blast. Always inspiring me. I told you not to ask any difficult questions. That's it. Interview's over. Very exciting. There's a lot of people up there. Down. There's a lot of energy flying around, isn't there, George? <laughs> When I heard the words Western Swing, uh, my, my eyes and ears lit up and I thought, fantastic, I want to be involved. Thank you, boys and girls. Well, I think we've all been through the country music thing, the three chords and the truth, and I think Western Swing is probably one of the hardest sort of musics to play music to play in that genre because it, it requires incredible skill and a lot of these musicians do have incredible skill and I think the challenge of you know twin fiddle parts, um, pedal steel and Stewie's incredible guitar playing um, and then layering on top of that you know vocals and harmonies and the bottom end of the, of the spin drift is, is made up of the rhythm section which is myself on rhythm guitar Hamish Stewart and Mike Vidal, and that's a very powerful combination of trio. Gary Steele sits there on his accordion outside it all. And so it's, it's a, on stage it's a marvel because they're all so clever and um, it's, it's, it's probably one of the best musical things I've got done. another one, a great one that was a, a big hit for Bob Wills. This is one that Felicity and I recorded yeah. last 15, century. Last, last year. Just on the cusp of last century. <laughs> This is a tune called Baby That Show Would Go Good. <laughs> two. I want to be on. It all comes from Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, which I came across uh, in the late 70s. A, a mate of mine had this, this double album on vinyl. Remember vinyl? It was the most great music I'd ever heard. It had such great energy and a lot of joy in it, and, and I just fell in love with the music. A little walk with you sure would go good. A little talk with you sure would go good. A little table where the candles glow. Oh. Down at the little place we used to go. Oh, yes. And hold your head in mind, just like the old times, baby. It sure would go good. Yes. 
A little music and lots of time. Western Swing. Western Swing was jazz guys playing hillbilly music, that's what they called it, but it's great. It crosses over into jazz, Dixieland, a bit of the blues. It's just a challenge to play. It's good melodic music. That sure would go good. Come on, Gary, make us, make us cry now, man. Well, Gary Steele's a wild card and, and he'll play stuff that you go, wow, where'd that come from? Couldn't even think to play what he played on that solo, for example. And that's great, it's great having a wild card. Gary, he's a special musician, isn't he? Like, oh, never repeats himself, never know what he's gonna play. And it's, it's always musical. I love that guy. master of the pedal steel. He's the finest pedal steel player I've ever played with. Michelle Rose on pedal steel and Stewie French. The whole band on I mean, this amazing, great band. I love it. And, and Michelle, working with him, because we've been around, we've been playing together for 20 years now, and we just read each other. But pretty special. We'll play something in it. I'll play something and he jumps straight on as if he knew what I was going to play and vice versa. So it's great. We're like brothers. Uh, we've been playing together for 20 years now. Baby, 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 baby. You know, I'm the lightweight in the lineup because I'm not playing a single instrument. My fingers are going to go soft because normally I do play guitar, but with these guys, why would I? Bother? Night long, night long. A little walk you got people like Felicity up there who's just a beautiful singer, you know, she can just, she just fits in sings her heart out and what more can you want? And, and George and Claire, they really do their homework and it's so sweet to hear twin fiddles. You, you just don't hear that in Australia. You know, you, hear, you go to America to hear that stuff, but we first rehearsed and when they brought the twin fiddles out and played these tunes, I went, wow, this is gonna work. You need twin fiddles if you're gonna play Western Train. That is the that is the sound of Western Swing, I think, to feel. You have to. Both of us are just so, such passionate fiddle players anyway. George, you know, he's, he's got a great, a great flair and, and then I'm a little bit more studious. So I write out all the parts and I'm the one that's kind of cracking the whip, you know, with, with getting those parts together. Whereas he's, his stage presence, you know, is, it, you know, we're kind of like, I don't want to say good cop, bad cop, but you know, I mean, that's sort of how we work and it kind of works, you know, we're opposites. <laughs> we come together on the stage and it marries really nicely. We've all been around for a while, so we sort of know how to it, it make things work and slot things in, you know, energy-wise. And, you know, if you're working on arrangements, it's, it's, a, like, it's a large group, so it's a bit, it requires a bit of preparation. I'm drifting into deep. Oh, it just feels so special. I wish I could, I want to see everybody's hands because I love seeing the physical playing of any instrument. Uh, when I was young, I used to line, line up for autographs and people would be wanting the star. Well, I was always after the, the musician's autograph. Just always loved the, the, uh, the great, uh, the, the skills, the talent, and uh, always think they've got such wonderful minds to be able to play this intensity in these great parts. As long. Now where will it lead me and where will it end? I can't help but wish I uh, Coming from the country field, there's so many of our musicians that are fabulous and, and session players, but they all love this group of people because they know that they are, that they're like almost, you know, the next level. <laughs> One of the great influences of the Spindrifters was um, was Kenny uh, Kenny Sears band 
in Nashville called the Time Jumpers. Kenny Sears is a fiddle player and uh, he does the Grand Ole Opry and he's a session player, extraordinary, and he, he had, and she just passed, a wonderful wife called Dawn Sears and she was just an extraordinary singer. She was backup singer for Vince Gill for years and years and years. And they started a little Western swing band in Nashville um, at a little club and nobody came to see them and then slowly they built up an audience. You'd go in there, there's 10 people there, but it was a sort of a 10-piece Western swing band. And then um, along the way, Vince Gill joined the band and uh, then it sort of rose to another level and it moved to a bigger club. And it's a bit of a sort of institution in Nashville now. Every Monday night at uh, Third and Lindsay, the, uh, the, the Time Jumpers play. Well, my window it faces the south I'm almost halfway to heaven The sun is shining I can see Feels the cotton calling to me My window faces the south Though I am far from the Swanee I'm never frowning or down in the mouth Well it's great that he, um, he's so passionate about the music He loves the music and he knows all these characters in this band yeah, going back a long, long way. Andrew, I've known Andrew for a long time. Yes, I think he was working with... Uh, he just produced an album for Graham Connors. I think I was touring with Graham at the time called uh, The Return, it was done in uh, Nashville, and I think that's when I first met Andrew. He's, he's still living in Barrow then, he used to go there and stay. Yeah. Wonderful guy. Savant on the keyboard, and he, he he doesn't play much the same thing twice. You know, he tends to. Um, so well, there's a lot of improvisation around a song, and the basic song is set out. It's a bit like jazz. It's like country jazz, really, where there's a head and there's improvisation. We all come back to the head, and the head in the Western swing is the tune and the song. And then everyone gets a chance to to show off or, or improvise or do whatever they want around that particular chord, chord sequence. Well, he's a very energetic, beautiful soul. Just makes things happen. Stewie French and Michelle Rose. Michelle was in um, was in the Stetsons in the 90s with myself and Buzz, Buzz Bidstrap. And I remember in 1996 we were recording an album and Michelle walked into the studio and said, I've just met this fantastic guitar player called Stuart French. And uh, that was 20 years ago. And, and Stuart and Michelle have been playing together ever since. You gotta have an ace in the hole. A little secret that nobody knows. Life is a gamble. Again, it's sort of country play. music, but it's got but a little bit more edge to it, or something, something going on, and I think people get excited. And the big part is dynamic. So you see, people might get a bit bored. If it's a straightforward country gig, they might start to oh, get a bit tired because they're not into country music. You've got to be a diehard. But this music, it seems to appeal to all sorts. So I don't know. People go away going, "Wow, well, I like that." I didn't know what it was, whether it was jazz, whether it was country, but I like enjoyed it. It's the way you want to go. Hi, Stewie. In money and love and all the above, have a little more than what you show. When life deals out a surprise, 
have a few surprises of your own No matter what you do, no matter where you go You've gotta have an ace in the hole Yeah, you've gotta have an ace in the hole The, the lineup in this, this ensemble with um, Stewie French and Michelle Rose who are like this, you know, the dynamic duo that fits in with the strings and then for me to be working with Claire O'Mara with the vibe, they're doing the twin fiddle thing. It's, a, it's quite a challenge, you know, because we're still working on getting all the, the, the voicings with the two fiddles working like this in simpatico. And then now we're starting to work on all the bowings as well, so. It's all your fault if I'm not sleeping. Great to have this sort of opportunity to do this, you know, with a great rhythm section, and off you go, and, and they're all those great songs. I love the material, so it's great fun. If I'm not playing or having fun, instead I'm staying all by myself. It's all your fault. When you said that we were through, I tried to find somebody new. Just saying, it's all your fault. Ah, Stewie. All of us have played together in different in different musical situations for a very long time. We've been in touch. In fact, out of all of the members of the band, I think I've known Gary Steele the longest. I met him in. Uh, I think it was like about 1988. So, uh, and then shortly after, I met uh, Michelle and Stuart in Tamworth. And uh, Michael Bedell, I've known for a long time, played in a band called The Bushwhackers with him. And George Washing Machine, I've known for a very long time. We've been in a few different musical situations as well, playing fiddles together. So, and now we've finally all come together and, you know, it's like one big melting pot. It's fantastic. I live on dreams instead of eating Well, I'm just a wreck and it's all your fault so It's my fault, Ian. Really? Well, it's all your fault If I'm not playing Or having fun instead I'm staying All by myself oh, yes, It's all, all your fault When you said that we were through I tried to find somebody new But I found out that wouldn't do Somebody new and it's all your all fault. Your fault. When I'm a grandma, if my all grandkids don't fault. call you grandpa, yeah. I'm just saying it's all, all your fault. All well. well, I'm just saying it's all your fault. If I've always thought this, if someone can sit down in the audience, forget about the bank and their wife or husband that may or may have left, or their car, or the other bullshit in life that we all have, you just let go of that for half an hour or more. It's just healing for them. It's like playing with a ball as a kid. You just get lost in it. Life's fun. This time it's me. about how soft you can play this band, not how loud. And that really rubs off our front, you know, when, when you can hear when you can hear Fliss singing, you can hear a breathe, you know, that's that's what the music's about. You don't want to be drowned out by a, a drum. You know? So the hard part is what you don't play. I think they walk out with a smile and they're tapping their foot. I've got a lot of comments saying I'm still tapping my foot and that song's still going round and round in my head. So that's the sort of thing we get back. You know, I get a lot of feedback from friends and people who have seen the show. They're saying they're still tapping their foot. It's a, it's a big, happy, swing, powerful sound. Um, 
but it's it's fast, it's slow, it's hot, it's cold, it's it's um, it's spontaneity. Sponta spontaneity is a big thing, uh, so we're never quite sure what's going to come out of Gary Steele. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, you know that, that's the idea. It's, it's music on the go. See you next time. Thanks, everybody. The Spin Drifters, they're amazing. We love them. Absolutely. Go away saying, wow, that was Western Swing music and I really loved it. Turn out the light